In this quick video, I would like to introduce a new way to search for listings in Matrix. You will find this new search two different ways. The first way is to hover over the search tab and you will see it at the top of the list, search new. The second way is to use one of the other searches such as residential and then you will see it up at the top left called try our new search. Now that you found a new search, let me explain it to you. On the left hand side is the search criteria. On top is the map and on bottom are the search results in a single line grid. And because they're on one screen, you can customize it and move it around according to what you need at the given time. So for example, using this arrow here called hide search fields, gets rid of the search criteria and allows you to focus on just a map and a single line grid down below. Or you can expand the map by using this tool down at the bottom right of the map to expand it and see nothing but the map of those listings on one screen. You can then use the shrink button on the map to pull the results back up or you can use the expander on the search results to see nothing but the search grid and with the map and the search criteria gone. You can shrink it to get the map and the search map back open. And if you use the option up here, the arrow, it just opens up your search criteria again. Let me explain the search criteria screen here on the left hand side. To search for a different property type, just go to the drop down menu and then choose the property type that you'd rather search for. Underneath it is an eraser to help you clear everything that you have selected, kind of like a redo. And then here is your customized fields, your settings or cogwheel. By clicking on this will allow you to add more fields or remove any field. So when this opens up, you can see on the left hand side all the fields that I currently have selected and the order they're in. On the right hand side are the fields I could scroll down and find whatever field I want to add to this search criteria. Or I can use the filter up here at the top to conveniently go through and filter out uh, to make it easier to choose. Then when I'm done, I can either hit cancel down below or I can hit save. And then I just simply proceed and enter the criteria that I like to search for. And as I do that, you'll see the map on the right hand side, along with the grid down below refresh according to what I have selected. So if I do my price range, you'll notice it refreshes and now I'm seeing 14 matches based on that price range and that zip code that I have entered. And then over here, I can just open up the map to look at just the map, shrink it, maximize the grid to just focus on the grid or bring them both back up. Also, what is kind of cool about this new search is if I click on one of the listings in the grid down below, it opens up a little sidebar. So this way I can just click on the next one and the next one and kind of get a little preview of it on the right hand side. If I close that up, I'm back to where I was. Up here at the top at any time I can print save, save as new save search or as a new speed bar shortcut. I can use the send button to send an email, uh, save, uh, save it as an auto email or send a link here. Now the email or to share the link, obviously I would just need to pick a few listings here. Then I would be able to go to send and send by email, a manual email or as an auto email or share the link or I can use those options that I just picked and use it for a CMA. If I go to the three dots here, the ellipsis where actions are at, you will find more actions here, such as driving directions, export these listings, use those listings for a quick CMA, three up side by side comparison, showing time or switch it to the classic view that you're used to. Just close that back up.
So pretty much what you had in the classic version, the traditional way, you still have, it just looks a little different there. Even over here, you have your drawing tools such as draw radius or a rectangle or polygon or freehand, but now you even have a ruler. You also still have your layers that you had before. They're just located this way instead of how they were on the old version. You can recenter your map. You can jump to a location. You can clear if you had a shape drawn, which I don't. Zoom in, zoom out, or go to the set clear defaults here. And here you can see that you can set this map as your starting default or restore system defaults. Basically, the same options that you had before are still here. If I look at the grid down below, I still have the same options. I can still sort it by using one of those options there. I can sort it here. I can change it from a list view to a gallery view, which is new, which didn't have before. Or you can go to the settings option here, and this will allow you to change your grid that you did before. So everything that you had in the previous uh, client version, you should be able to do in this new search. So I hope you like this new version and I hope this video helps you understand it and utilize it a little more. Thank you.